Hi everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com with a color coordinates recipe card for you using some of our hand-picked ink colors such as Fossil, Cobblestone, Coral Reef, and Golden Locks. I've created a really clean and simple card and I've used some diagonal stamping plus I've added a little die cut in the center. To start off, I have the Block Greeting stamp set, and I really love the stamp set because it's really nice and bold and really clear writing. And so what I've done is I've gone ahead and put my thanks onto my block, and I have a piece of Nina cardstock, and this is cut four and a quarter by five and a half long. And I'm gonna go ahead and start stamping at an angle. If you wanted to, you could use a pencil mark, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start eyeballing it. So I'm starting off with my lightest color first, and this is Golden Locks. And I haven't used the stamp yet, so I'm going to season it a little bit by just adding some ink. And then I'm going to stamp onto some scrap paper to make sure I have a really good image. When you're using a really solid stamp, I do suggest that you season it this way just by just getting some ink on it and doing a test run. So once I'm happy with that image, I can go ahead and re-ink my stamp. And since it is fairly solid, I'll go over several times and try to get those little air bubbles out. And sorry I'm off screen, but I'm just tapping the ink pad to the stamp. So now I'm going to go ahead and just set this down at an angle. And again, I'm kind of off screen there, sorry about that, but you can kind of see my stamp in the bottom. I'll push this up here in a second so you can see. And I'll press this down and let that ink soak into that paper. And as you know, these inks will lighten up over time. So it's going to stamp really bold and then it'll lighten up as it moves into the paper. So I've pressed that down really well. You can see that it has a slight angle. And the next thing I want to do is to use my Ultra Clean Dauber. And I don't think we've talked about this much, but this is really a great way to clean your stamps. And I'm going to just go ahead and wipe it right onto my stamp. It has that little cloth dauber at the top. I've always used Ultra Clean Spray in the past, but the dauber top makes it so easy to clean my stamps. And when I'm done, I have a really clear stamp as if it was just brand new. So I'm just wiping that down with a paper towel and now I can go ahead and cap off my ink and move on to my second color. So the next color I'll be doing is Fossil and I'm going to go ahead and just ink this up just like I did with the Golden Locks and I'll do this a couple times. I don't need to season my stamp since I've already had ink on here and the cleaner. So since it's bold, I've gone over a couple times. And so now just eyeballing it, I'm going to set it right next to my other Golden Locks Thanks. And go ahead and press that down just like I did before. The next color I'm using is Coral Reef, and I'm stamping this uh, just kind of in between my other Thanks and just above. And when I'm doing a stacked type stamping, I do like to start at the bottom and work my way up. I can see where I'm going. So now I have that stamped and again, I can use my Ultra Clean to clean this off. I've completed my stamping and I've used the thanks. It's actually the small thanks and I've cut that from my panel. And on the back, I have added a piece of acetate, and this will hold my uh, piece that I'm gonna put on top in place, plus I've added some foam squares. The acetate will also give me a nice um, drop shadow behind. So also, I've cut out three other pieces of thanks from White Nina cardstock, and I've glued those together so that it's more like a chipboard piece. So I've added my Tombow mono adhesive to the back, and I've let that set and dry just a little bit. Now all I need to do is just go ahead and replace the thanks right into the top. And this is lifted up a little bit, so it gives it a little bit of dimension. To finish things off, I've added a little heart piece at the top that I've stamped with golden locks and also some sequins scattered around. I hope I've given you some inspiration for a color combination from Simon Says Stamp, and thanks for watching.